Hey everybody, it's Tony the Blacksmithing Gamer, and here we do everything from blacksmithing to 3D printing to bring the things inside the video games into the real world. This week, Ghost of Tsushima came out, and with that, we're making one of his masks. Let's get started, I'll show you how we did it. Alright, so we're done printing the mask from Ghosts of Tsushima and uh, let's get all the support material off there so we can get ready for paint. So a couple things when you're uh, taking the support material off the mask, um, depending on how you want to print it, well, pretty much any way you want to print it, unless you have dissolvable support material. Um, just make sure you're really careful when you're taking the support material off around the teeth. Um, I haven't broke anything yet, but uh, I'm trying to be really, really gentle around the mouth because the teeth, the little sharp teeth, um, I imagine they're going to be uh, really easy to break potentially for uh, when you're taking off this, this middle part of the support material. So even if you print it flat, I think the problem's going to be the same. Um, yeah, this uh, support material, just be careful when you're taking it apart because uh, it could very well uh, snap some teeth. So careful when you're doing that. Let's see if I'm able to get through this. All right, so it looks like uh, I did manage to break off, or maybe it didn't even print right, uh, the fang here. I'm gonna try reprinting it, but I might slice it kind of on the halfway point. Um, I'll stop boring it. But yeah, uh, just so you see what I'm talking about, one of the fangs here decided to either not print it. Looks like it might have not printed properly here because I see stragglers. Uh, kicking around and um, so I'm going to try slicing it up a little bit see if I can get better results uh, maybe print it upside down whatnot um, worst case Ontario I'll try my hand at uh, filling in with maybe a 3d printing pen um, stay tuned I'll post some uh, alternatives here for you guys so let's uh, see if I can get this guy to work for you. I'm starting to reprint the mask. I printed it, uh, chopped it in half, and um, printed it upside down this time. This way the teeth aren't at all touching any of the support material. I'm going to take off the support material here and uh, see if you know and I could sand down or how this side looks. And um, yeah, hopefully this, this way turns out better. So a huge shout out to uh, Opa Studios. Go check them out on their YouTube page. They did an amazing design on this mask. Uh, I am not taking any credit for this mask whatsoever. All I'm doing is slicing it in half for printability uh, so that support material doesn't uh, destroy the teeth like it did on my original mask. And uh, I'll post uh, my sliced version along with their version I'll put links to their YouTube page go check them out and uh, 
you know they have uh, 100 or so subscribers give them some love uh, for this amazing design they actually showed how they uh, designed it all on the YouTube video that I'll link and uh, they'll also have a link down in their description of how to get it through them it's through a Google Drive um, not sure why they don't use Thingiverse or something like that but uh, go give them some love go show them some support for this 3D design all right, so we got the top half of the mask printed. I took off the support material. It looks like it came off pretty cleanly. I'll uh, do a little bit of sanding here on the top. And now I printed the uh, bottom half. I'm just gonna remove that support material. Next step is to uh, attach it. I'm gonna use some two-part epoxy for that. And uh, yeah, let's start uh, painting after that. Oh, I also printed this little guy the little chin piece uh, to put on the uh, the bottom of the uh, the mask here. So uh, then we're gonna do the little rope thing for for attaching to the ears, and then we're gonna paint it all up. Let's get going. So, we have the mask uh, base coat ready. I'm going to take a coat hanger and uh, poke it in the holes on the side so I can do the wrap and also paint the teeth because they're gold along with this little guy here. Um, and then uh, we'll put it all together, tie the rope, and show you the finished product. got the mask details painted on the only things left are to add a little uh, nub on the beard and uh, the little hooks for the rope and then to figure out how to tie the rope uh, so I just started mixing up some uh, two-part epoxy here I'm gonna add the little nub on I'm gonna have to hold that on for five minutes while it cures uh, then I will work these guys in, probably have to drill the hole just a little bit, and uh, I might bend them in or epoxy them in, we'll see, and then uh, we'll start trying to figure out that rope situation. Stay tuned. Alright, so all I did here is, uh, well, after I drilled my holes, I took my side cutters. I trimmed up the coat hanger and now I'm just going to use a little bit of two-part epoxy and dab that on the end just to make it hold and um, let that dry and then we'll start tying. So I picked out my rope, cut it shorter it's not super short because I still want to have lots to play with uh, but I'm gonna try to figure out the way you tied it on the mask we got loops top and bottom for the ear loops 
it goes, it crosses over, cinch knot, and then this goes in front. This will go behind and tie the other side right underneath here. So a couple of things about the uh, mask here. Um, the knot work is definitely the one of the hardest parts of it. Uh, I tried to explain that in the best as, as best detail as I can, but essentially I was just looking at the pictures and looping it just like the uh, they do in the, the video game there. Um, it, I did 3D print the mask a couple times just because uh, there was actually 3D printing issues with support. Uh, so what I ended up doing is chopping it in half and printing the teeth vertically, uh, pointing up rather. So uh, the uh, end of the mask here is also 3D printed separate. So essentially there's three pieces to the mask uh, that you need to 3D print. Top, bottom and the little chin piece. Um, for the mask pins on the left and the right side here, I actually used a piece of coat hanger that I just bent into shape to shove through the holes and then I glued them and uh, the rope I just got from the local dollar store so um, you know you could definitely make one of these pretty cheap it's not too expensive and uh, I think it looks pretty good what do you think thanks again for watching if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button down there below or if you want to follow me on any of these social media websites you can get daily updates on the projects I'm working on. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony, the Blacksmith and Gamer, where every week we're making things from the games we love.